This comprehensive guide will focus on the Herman Miller Aaron Chair with the Lumbar Support Edition. It will show you how to deal with three main points. The first section is about unboxing and installing the Aaron Chair along with the Lumbar Support. The second section will show you how to fit the back properly in case you face some difficulties in installing the back. The third section will show you how to easily adjust and balance the pin on the gas cylinder in case the chair was sinking or rising up by itself without using the height adjustment lever. To start, we'll show you how to easily unbox and install your Herman Miller Aaron chair with the lumbar support. Start by removing the ceilings off the box and get all the parts out of it. It's highly recommended to keep the box and the wrapping in case you decided to return your chair during the trial period, since you're requested to send everything back in its original packaging. Once you unwrapped everything, you need to install the back. There are four screws on the back, which need to be removed for now. Once you remove the screws, put the back in its place and reinsert those screws again. Make sure to tighten them well. Now if you're facing some difficulties in installing the back, keep watching because we have some important tips to make the back fit perfectly. Now get the lumbar support and insert it as shown. Flip the chair over and insert the casters. Also, if you notice that your chair is sinking or rising up by itself, keep watching. It's a normal occurrence with air and chairs and we will show you how to fix that as well. Your Herman Miller Aaron chair with the lumbar support is ready to go now. Coming up is how to fit the back perfectly. Now we will show you how to get the back perfectly in its place in case you had some issues installing it. If you ordered a Herman Miller Aaron chair and wondered why the back doesn't fit, we have the solution. You might think that you received the wrong sized back, which might not be the case. So in this video, we will show you how to overcome this issue step by step. First of all, you have to make sure that you have the right size back for your Aaron chair. Put your fingers under the back upper lip to confirm the size. You're looking for the dots. One dot means it's a size A, two dots it's a size B, and three dots for the size C. Once you confirm that you have the right size, then the issue can be easily fixed. Now you have to check the yoke to see if there's a gap between the metal yoke and the plastic bushing. If the plastic bushing and the yoke are separated, then that's likely the problem, and they need to be readjusted and pushed back together. You have three ways to do that. You can try doing it manually by using both hands to apply force to push them together. This is the straightforward method. If that didn't work, you can use a rubber mallet. If that didn't work either, then you have to use the diagonal bolt trick. What you have to do here is to insert one of the back bolts into one of the corners, Once that bolt is inserted and tightened, you move on to the opposing corner. So if you inserted the bolt here, your focus should be now shifted to here, then try to push and align the holes. Once you do that, you can insert the bolt. Now it's going to be a little bit tight, but once you start tightening the back bolt, it will align with the top yoke hole. The more you tighten these bolts, the more these yokes will start to get closer and close the gap and make it easier to install. And then after you do the first two, you're going to do the remaining back bolts and it will become significantly easier. The problem is now completely solved. Please remember to always check for the gap if you face this issue. Now let's fix the height adjustment if it's automatically sinking or going up. If you experience that unexpected descent when you sit or notice the chair rising on its own when you stand, don't worry, your chair isn't broken and it just needs a quick and easy tweaking. This happens all the time, so consider this as a part of the chair's assembly. If you received it like that, it's just a part of the process and you have to balance it. All you have to do is to adjust the pin under the cover. So start by removing the cover as shown. Once the cover is removed, locate the pin. We'll zoom in to show you what you have to do exactly. Using an Allen wrench or a hex key, you have to tighten the pin. If it was loose, you shouldn't tighten it too much to prevent it from breaking. That's why you should rotate it quarter by quarter. The whole point of loosening stems from the pin touching the top of the cylinder, causing it to be overactivated. So going counterclockwise will balance the situation and return the pin to its original position. You can always tighten a bit, then check if it's working again. 
until you're satisfied with the result. Again, if you overdid it, you can always loosen it a bit. Your main goal is to reach a balanced state. When you're done, give it a go. Our engineer here is showing you that if you balanced it correctly, it will function as intended. Even if you sit on it, it won't sink by itself. And if you stand up, it will stay at the same height. Finally, put the cover back on. And there you have it. Your Herman Miller Aaron is ready to go. Please like this video if it's helpful and feel free to let us know if you want any specific fixing tutorial.